Hello, I'm Jillian Duncan, the Senior Vice President of Professional Education and Program Services Worldwide at Intuitive. While I would far prefer to be there with you in person, I'm happy to at least have the opportunity to virtually share with this group how Intuitive is evolving education in response to the challenges of our current environment. First, let's take a look at how COVID-19 has impacted the surgical space. We saw the pandemic unfold in the early part of the year through our relationship with customers. Unsurprisingly, hospitals' step one was to align their resources and their supply chains. They had to make sure PPE was available, that they had enough ICU beds, and in some cases, postpone elective surgery. As the months went on, the focus has been on effectively managing both COVID and non-COVID patients without sacrificing quality of care. Now, taking you through how Intuitive responded, we started off by setting our priorities based on our values to serve our customers, to serve our community, and to serve our workforce. In the early days of the pandemic, we instituted health and safety measures for our workforce quickly. We brought our manufacturing lines down for about five days, and then using best practices that were being shared globally, we brought them back up. To the extent that order volume was down, we switched to our production line assembling PPE. Over a million face shields have been manufactured to date and we have donated them to institutions where we live and work. We also stabilized our exceptional workforce that supports our customers with leave programs, financial support, and additional training. Due to the impact COVID had on hospitals as a result of having to defer or delay patient treatment, we provided customers with financial assistance in the form of service relief, extended payment terms, and warranty extensions. We also launched our Extended Use Instrument Program, which is the result of an enormous amount of work in the area of precision engineering. This program will be particularly helpful to our customers at this time. Lastly, we're helping customers address access needs. If systems need to be in a different place, or if new teams need to be trained, we are finding ways to make it happen. In today's talk, I'm going to focus more deeply on exactly how Intuitive is working side by side with you to sustain ongoing training and education opportunities throughout this pandemic. Now, even prior to the pandemic, traditional approaches to education were being challenged by technology. Take the Khan Academy, for example. It has turned education on its head and the impact for students has been significant. My 12-year-old daughter, for example, has benefited greatly from the way the Academy has revolutionized learning math, but the evolution has been slow. COVID-19 is acting as an accelerant. As we all know, historically, procedural education has been rooted in the apprenticeship model of see one, do one, teach one. One-to-one -one learning was the foundation for traditional education and is still a key element of today's approach to robotic training but it is really only one aspect of a multifaceted learning journey. Why? Well, our environment has changed. New technologies are emerging that support skill acquisition and objective assessment through alternate means, whether it be virtual reality, high fidelity tissue simulation, augmented reality, or even machine learning. The message is clear that there are many strong additions to the field of education but it can be challenging to know what combination of approaches will be the most impactful. More isn't always better. In fact, sometimes more is just more. That's why ongoing investigation and experimentation is so important. And that's exactly where our professional education teams have been focused for the past 20 years. As new technologies come on the scene, we test their effectiveness, connect them with other approaches to determine impact, and then ultimately create scalable solutions for you. At no time has that history of innovation in learning been more important than now. COVID-19 has thoroughly disrupted education. Let's take a look at what Intuitive is doing to respond. First, COVID-19 made remote learning opportunities essential. So we have focused on rapidly expanding the features within our Intuitive Learning platform. Intuitive Learning is our free on-demand education platform that gives surgeons and care team members their training pathway right at their fingertips. We now have expanded learning plan features, profile-based navigation and video delivery, 
a robust searchable video catalog for just-in-time performance support, and a growing library of interactive clinical videos plus over 200 technology videos. You can see from the numbers that intuitive learning has proven quite popular. Within intuitive learning plans, learners are guided through each step in the process. Surgeons and OR staff are able to spend less time searching for specific content and more time expanding their knowledge of intuitive technology and its many applications. In our clinical video library, created by surgeons, we have added an additional layer of instructional highlights and interactions. You can also share links to videos with colleagues at any time, automatically advance to the next video in a series, as well as filter based on your clinical role and the technology at your hospital. Now, filtering for yourself may not actually be required because the clinical videos are specifically suggested based on your specialty and your role, while the technology videos are related directly to the technologies installed at your hospital. This means you don't have to waste time searching for the videos that are relevant to you. Instead, they are automatically surfaced. But let's say you're looking for videos to share with a colleague from another specialty. That's when the filtering power really becomes relevant. Now, let's take a look at another of our enabling platforms. Like Intuitive Learning, SimNow provides opportunities for high-fidelity, self-led learning essential during COVID. We have invested significant resources into simulation so that surgeons have the most realistic experience. Expanding beyond traditional skills-based simulation is core to our approach, so we have been working with a third party to develop high-fidelity procedure sim. What better way to get more of procedure training out of the OR? We now have close to 6,000 users, 17,000 hours of practice time, and over 200,000 exercises completed just in the past 12 months. Making a greater number of exercises available quickly is core to our evolving education strategy, particularly now. Why is that? Well, because it's clear that simulation makes a difference. Eight years ago, there were very few journal publications on da Vinci simulation. Now there are over 300 peer-reviewed publications on the impact of how console skill simulation can take learning out of the OR. It's been shown that da Vinci skills simulation performance can transfer to surgeon technical console skills in the operating room. We also now know that continuous practice through simulation may support retention of system skills over time. This is particularly relevant during COVID when surgical volume is highly variable and finding other ways to maintain surgical skills is paramount. Independent practice is certainly core to skill acquisition but so is peer-to-peer -peer learning. With travel restrictions in place, Intuitive quickly shifted to hosting live virtual events. First, let's take a look at case observations, which provide an opportunity for surgeons to see the application of da Vinci technology in a clinical setting. New da Vinci surgeons can also gain clear insight into procedure specifics during these experiences. We understand the tremendous value of this interaction for surgeons, so we have implemented remote case observation capability. Now, even with travel and hospital access constraints, surgeons can still engage in peer-to-peer -peer learning, asking the questions that are most important to them. We have also added the virtual didactic sessions to our advanced training offerings. Based on the positive response we had to our initial programs, we are now expanding across multiple specialties. These programs offer the opportunity to learn from experts, review case video, and share clinical best practices. We're keeping the program small so that true interaction is possible. It's not a lecture, it's a conversation. Live virtual events aren't just for surgeons either. We're also engaging virtually with OR teams, ensuring they get the training that's essential to effectively supporting procedures. And we're not only focused on the technology. Using these same telepresence solutions, our consultants are able to continue their program optimization efforts, even when they cannot access the hospital in person. So whether your need is in the area of standardization, efficiency, or workflow, we've got a virtual consulting solution for you. There is clear power in virtual learning opportunities, but getting hands-on experience is still core to technical training. 
That's why we're bringing training closer to our customers with more intuitive learning centers. COVID-19 disrupted the learning pathway for many due to necessary travel restrictions. In response, we quickly created rotational intuitive learning centers. These new centers, in addition to our core locations, are helping to minimize the disruption and provide the continuous hands-on learning opportunities that we know are also essential. But solving the training center access problem was only part of the solution. We also had to identify new model options due to the COVID-related restrictions placed on cadavers. I'm happy to report that within 30 days, we were successful in transitioning 70% of our courses to non-cadaveric models without sacrificing course quality. But we didn't stop there. We have also spent significant time creating new models in collaboration with simulated soft tissue companies so that we can now offer the vast majority of our advanced programs even without access to cadavers. Now, what about intraoperative support? Well, in-person proctoring remains the recommendation for initial cases. To further supplement this support, we have also rapidly deployed remote coaching. Why? Well, we know that one of the best ways for surgeons to learn is from other surgeons, both early in their learning curve and throughout their surgical career. So we're enabling surgeons to digitally connect with their peers to receive real-time guidance and feedback. In the top example, the mentee operates at the Da Vinci console while the mentor watches and telestrates live with a laptop from the comfort of their office. It's also possible to use the tablet independently to show room setup, port placement, docking, things of that nature. Then reconnect the tablet to the comm link to show the endoscope view again. Imagine the benefits when a surgeon is learning a new procedure or desires performance support for a complex case. As you've seen, COVID-19 required we adapt quickly we did so by tapping into the learning innovations we had been investigating over time. Because we were already looking at new approaches, we were able to rapidly identify the solutions that would keep learning on track without sacrificing quality. But we're not done yet. Let's take a look at some of the other modalities we are working on. Gamification, for example, is expected to increase learner engagement and create transferable skills. We think there is significant application here for learning basic console skills independently. In the WorkBot transport game, the learner must complete the mission of moving WorkBots to various locations by manipulating the camera and the instruments. The skills associated with the movement have been matched to the same skills necessary to effectively use the surgeon console during clinical procedures. The second game involves a racetrack. The learner selects a track based on the desired level of difficulty as well as a competitor. Here, we're starting off with an easy track and competing against a medical student. Once the game starts, she must manipulate the instrument and camera to remove track barriers as well as retrieve energy packs, which will make the car go faster. And the whole time, the clock is ticking. By making learning fun, we hypothesize it's possible to engage learners more regularly in skills practice. And if our early testers are any indication, we're definitely onto something. People get really competitive in these types of environments and they keep coming back for more, which translates into skill improvements. And it's not just for the surgeons. How about using virtual reality to train new OR team members? Often they can't get access to a Da Vinci system to practice because it's being used for patients. Virtual reality could solve this problem. Here's an example of proof of concept work funded by research grants awarded by Intuitive and from the National Science Foundation. Instead of having to train on the Da Vinci system after hours, team members could train at their own convenience and get objective assessments of their case preparedness. Now, virtual reality provides significant opportunity for independent learning, but it's not alone. When it's time to configure the operating room, Augmented reality may play a role by increasing OR setup efficiency. Imagine the time that could be saved if ideal component placement could be determined without having to repeatedly reposition all of the elements in the operating room. Finally, we all know that the best way to get better is to identify your particular skill gaps and focus development in those areas. 
This can of course be done through direct proctor or coach observation. But what if you could get that feedback through a comparison of your performance with benchmark metrics driven by large data sets? Similar to how elite athletes review their film to identify improvement opportunities, surgeons could use their performance reports to compare themselves to best practices and identify areas to focus their skill development. This really is the future of database customized learning plans, a powerful innovation in the world of education. It's pretty clear that excelling in the new normal will require further leveraging recent innovations while simultaneously researching new approaches. These are certainly challenging times, but through strong collaboration, I have no doubt we will find a positive way forward. We are in this together. Thank you and stay safe.